Did you know that you can save up to 10% every time you are performing a swap? Yes, this is possible specifically if you want to trade from one chain to another one. We are talking about trading on a DEX, so on a decentralized exchange. And sometimes it could be difficult because let's suppose that you can have your USDT on Arbitrum, but you want to trade on buying a smart chain. How to do? Well, it's not so easy because you have to bridge your funds, you have to find the best route. And remember, guys, it's not for granted that the price that you are seeing on an exchange is the best one that you can obtain. Even if you maybe you are just buying from PancakeSwap or whatever, it's always better to find and to check out, to have a strategy in order to save fees and get the best price. This is exactly what we'll discuss together into this video, so stay tuned. Before to start, guys, let me say this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's super fine, but be always aware of the risk and do always your own research. And guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up, drop a comment to the comment section below, and if you want to check also all our links into the description, you are more than welcome. Okay, let's start immediately. Well, I want to first start saying that if we compare the current situation to what we had just one year ago, well, the difference is insane. Do you remember the time when you had your own coins on one chain and you had to trade on another one? Well, the process could be pretty long with so high fees. I remember when we were using Warmo or uh, multi-chain and so on. And these were the only alternatives that we had. Not to talk about the risk. What's the risk if, we, uh, if one of these bridge has been hacked? Well, fortunately, we have finally some much faster solution in order to go from one chain to another one and start to trade saving fees. Okay, let me sh uh, share uh, my screen. Let me show you a couple of solutions. I prepared for you a selection of different tools that you can use in order to facilitate the way that you are moving funds from one chain to another one. And just in a single transaction, so in a single click, you could be able to uh, swap your USDT, for example, on Arbitrum into any other supported chain. And this is something that is saving us a lot of time and also a lot of money on the other side. Uh, I want to invite you to go through the whole video simply because it's important for you to understand what are the risks also connected to that. Because if from one side it's true, that, for example, I love Rubik. The interface of Rubik is pretty insane, as you can see. Just click on the chain, select the chain that you want to that you want to uh, sell. Is select the, the token could be USDT, for example, select the destination chain. It could be any of these 61 different chains. As you can see, there are many, really many of them, including osmosis. So you can go from one EVM to one not EVM. You can go, as you can see, also on Tron, Solana. So there are literally many choices that are available on Rubik. And uh, uh, simply select also the uh, token that you want to receive uh, in exchange. Could be, uh, in this case, we can do ETH. So selling from Ethereum uh, USDT and buying Ethereum on a uh, scroll. And that's something that's happening just uh, in a single click. You decide the amount. And here is the trick, guys. <clears throat> Check out here. And this is something that's really important because, as you can see, Yes, it is finding you what is supposed to be the best route. And as you will see in a moment, it's not for granted that it is. But you have to remember that you have to take in account the protocol fee and the network fee. Network fees are always an estimation. Network fees is something that you are paying the moment when you are approving a transaction and depends from the congestion on, of the network. Plus, protocol fees are the fees that are retained by Rubik. And this is something that you have to add on top of this amount here. So on top of this 100 that you are giving away, you would have to pay also the protocol fee. Guys, again, it's important. Plus, the third cost that you have to take in account is the slippage. Slippage, it is something that is really important. So always remember how much slippage do you, do you accept. The slippage basically means if the price right now is 100, I'm good to buy even if the price is going to 110 in the in the while when I'm transacting. If yes, you have to put up to 10% of slippage. Uh, otherwise, my suggestion is keep it as low as possible. What's the difference when it comes to Rubik compared to solutions that are pretty similar like Rango Exchange or 
Rocket X Exchange. Rocket X Exchange is also pretty hyped in this moment, and the token, the RVF token by Rocket X, is simply simply skyrocketing. My suggestion, guys, is always check different solutions. Why? Simply because even if it, if here it says that you save five dollar, well. It's not always true. It is a good interface to push people to use a Rocket X, but the reality is that Rocket X is not always offering the best price. I'm not saying always simply because sometimes it's true. The kind of price that is able this tool to take, it is something that is not available in any other exchange. It happened to me in the moment when I was trying to buy something, I got an incredible price from Rocket X, but it's not always like that. Another important difference is that which are the blockchains that are supported. As you can see here, there is pretty a big amount of EVM, EBC, and also other blockchains that are supported. Rango itself has a, a 50 a blockchains that are supported. So as you can see, it is pretty a nice way of doing because in a single tool, you will have the availability to swap among really a lot of blockchains. Now I want to stop for a second to talk again about Rubidex. It is one of my sponsors. As you can see right now, they have just added a, a Manta as supported chain. If you're wondering how the platform works, well, it is pretty simple. It has an order book and it is supporting different blockchains. Why? Well, in the moment when it's supporting different blockchains, it's giving you the ability to withdraw and deposit with a much easier experience because you don't have to bridge your funds as we were seeing. Yes, we have seen the experience has got much better, but how better it is to have a single click, having doesn't matter where you have your funds, having the ability to deposit and withdraw directly from the chain where you are having your money. The platform, as you can see, it is having an order book. They have just improved uh, the speed at which the order book is uh, updating the price in order to give you a better depth and a more realistic uh, uh, coherency between the price that is actually with the price on the order book. So you don't have to worry much about the spread. Uh, they are keep uh, also adding new assets from one side, uh, cryptos, on the other side, also forex. That's also something pretty interesting. As you can see, they are uh, supporting the Japanese uh, coin, the, uh, the pound from UK, the euro, and uh, all, all of them against the US uh, uh, dollar. So let me know if you want to know more about uh, uh, Rubidex or if you have any question, I will also leave my link if you want to save fees from uh, uh, Rubidex. It's a 10% discount, 10 discount additionally on top of what you will pay. Okay, let's go back to our bridges and how to swap from a chain to another one and which is the difference from what, what are the traditional ways. Because yes, you maybe you can wonder, okay, but why not to start using something like Orbiter Finance and Stargate? Maybe it could also be useful to qualify for an airdrop. Yes, because that's another part of the story. Airdrops, we are in a season right now, the bear market, when trading is not so profitable or at least not like when uh, we are in a, a bull run but at the same time it is a good moment to be qualified for a drops so if we look at uh, the previous um, applications we can see that ruby rubik already have a, a token and as you can see this is the chart from uh, the rubik to rubik uh, token it had many pump and dumps and right now it is pretty uh, low price with an around 1 million market cap so pretty low market cap um, so in this case you will not be qualified for an airdrop but if you use rubik they will reward you with uh, uh, the rbc token as a reward every time you are swapping just to give an idea every three to six uh, uh, swaps you will have the ability to withdraw 300 uh, rbc rbc that is about about uh, three dollars something like that yeah something something more let's check it out here as you can see right now 300 rbc are about four dollars so do your math and check it out if it is more convenient to take this or maybe on the other side you could be interested to, to qualify for an airdrop like on Rango. Rango doesn't have a, a, a token right now, so it could be a way to qualify just by using the platform. On the other side, 
uh, Rocketx has a, a token. It is also pumping with a market cap that is, is insanely higher. So from this point of view, there is not that amount of advantage, but you can use the token to diminish the level of fees that you will pay on uh, this uh, uh, protocol. On the other side, which are your alternatives? Well, you can also try to use Jumper Exchange that is using Leafy. Leafy is an underlying technology that you can think about like layer zero. They don't have a token, so maybe using Jumper Exchange could be a good way to qualify for a token. But in this case, be aware that Jumper Exchange is not always working as it should be supposed to. Honestly speaking, transactions that I have done on Jumper Exchange are failing a couple of times. It's not always like that. Even if I can't say that it's a bad uh, protocol, to be fair, it's a pretty interesting one for sure, but be aware that all of them are pretty young solution still. Uh, on the other side, Orbiter Finance uh, and the same story applies for Stargate are incredible solution if you are looking just to get uh, an ADR from layers. In that case, uh, using uh, these protocols, it is pretty interesting. On the other side, be aware that not always it is worth it. Why? Because you will have to do different steps. All of these platforms are not supporting many assets. Not to mention that at the same time, also the chains that are supported are not all of them. Anyway, what I want to invite you to start thinking about is that there is not a single solution that is always better than the other ones. You have always start in the moment when you want to swap something to think, okay, man, how much money do I have to swap? Because for example, if you're just swapping $10, it doesn't matter. Use whatever you want. Even if you pay 10% more, 10% less, it doesn't matter. The, the difference is so the amount of money that we are talking about is so low that it doesn't matter so much. But on the other side, if you want to move a lot of money, maybe saving 1%, 2%, 3%, 10% of difference into the price could be something significant. So maybe in that case could be worth to check out which are the different solutions, which is the process that you should start using. First of all, understand which are the coins and on which chains are available. Second, check different solutions. Uh, we have been talking about Rubik, Rango, uh, Rocket. If you know any, any other, let me know into the comment section. I'm pretty curious to know more about them. And on the other side, also try to uh, compare what they are offering with your full manual procedure. So finding a, a bridge, it could be Orbiter, Stargate, uh, also D bridge, router, uh, router protocol with Voyager protocol, and all the different protocols that are offering you the ability to go from one chain to another one. And after that, try to find the moment when you have the funds on the same chain, find the best path. And also in that case, don't give for granted that the uh, price that you will get from the exchange could be the Lama swap or whatever. It is the best one that you can get. Always dig more into the matter. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Let me know what do you think about uh, uh, swapping from one chain to another one, which are the solutions that you are using uh, in, on uh, with which of them you are feeling at best, and in your opinion, which will be the winner? Because obviously right now we have thousands of different platforms, but in the future, I don't think that all of them could survive. Which will be the winner in your opinion? And also... Keep an eye on this topic because in the next bull run, with any probability, many of these tokens will pump insanely. Not all of them will reach 200 million, 1 billion market cap or even more, but many, yes. So be aware of that. Check it out. Don't invest blinded, but dig into the story. Guys, thank you for following me and I will see you soon in another video. Bye, guys.